What is going on everybody? Matta222 here today bringing you guys another figure review. Today we are looking at the SH Figure Arts TN figure. Uh I like I like this figure, but I have a lot of I have a lot of problems. Not a lot of problems, but I do have a couple problems. But uh overall I really like this figure. Feel like we've been waiting to kind of round out that core Z Fighters cast for a long time, so I'm really happy to have them, but as always, guys, let's take a look at the packaging. So, right here we have, oh, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> wow, I'm sorry, guys, it is allergy season, so, all right, we are back, the sneezing is done, I apologize for that. Alright, so looking at the packaging, really cool shot of the figure right there. Really looks badass. And then various logos all across the front. Not really a lot on the side. Uh, 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 on this side. On this side, of course, we do have some shots of the figure. I like that face. Pretty cool. Another shot of the face on top. More on the bottom. And then on the back, various poses, various stuff you could do. That is very nifty and a bunch of stuff I can't read. So yeah, that is pretty much it for the packaging. So why don't we go ahead and get right into this review. All right, so looking at the figure himself, this is kind of the base head he comes with. I, I like the I like the face. I like this how it looks. This is just kind of his standard face now I know that some people have had a problem with the eyes uh, I, I think it was Anthony's customs who the eye was all his eye was all like off-centered doesn't look like mine is that has that so not too bad right there you can see the scar on the chest pretty good the pants are nice there is some uh, some soft soft black shading kind of near the bottom it, it is kind of sporadic so it's just kind of like a little bit here a little bit there but it does look good and black shoes not too much to them and then same thing here with just the yellow kind of not boots but the bottom of the pants they look all right wrist guards or wristbands pretty much green and red uh, okay skin tone i like it's it's kind of he, he's very plain it's just very pale kind of plain not so skin tone not pale pale is not the right word but it's just very bland like there's no shading or anything like that aside from the scar not really anything too discernible like no hair so pretty much other than that just a bland body but uh figure does look nice nonetheless looking at his articulation the head moves side to side you can get it forward and back. You could rotate it. You could do a lot with it. This is a fighting body. So again, we've seen this before. Uh, you can move the shoulder up to here. Move the arm up to there. Move it in this far. Out this far. He's got a bicep swivel. Nice bend in the elbow. Not the best range of motion, but certainly not the worst either. Wrist rotation and wrist hinge. For the abs, so... He's got an ab crunch. You can look down, forward, side to side, and you can rotate that. So, again, no really limitations in the ab area. You can, you can move that. I mean, the only kind of problem is you can't you get a pretty good range of motion forward and back and side to side. So, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I take that back. No, ab, ab is good. No, no really issues there. Hips move out this far. Kicks this far forward, that far back, bend in the knee. Again, because of the sculpt of the pants, the knees don't have the best range of motion, so you don't get the best bend on them. But uh, there's not really much you can do about that. You do rotate. And, oops. The ankles do hinge forward and back, side to side, and you can rotate them. So plenty of things you can do with the ankles. Stand there. Stand. Stand. All right, 
right, let's look at his many accessories. Wait, he doesn't come with that many, actually. He doesn't come with that many. So, you have your choice between three other heads. He's got this more kind of sh shocked face. This more grinning, smirking face. And then he's got the yelling face. So, good degree of heads, ex facial expressions, you know. All right, he's got two claw hands or grabbing hands or, you know, like boob grabbing hands. I don't, I don't know. You, you use your imagination, guys. Come on now. Got two high five hands. He's got the finger guns. No, I'm just... I'm, I'm just being, I'm just goofing, so I, I think that would go, like, put that on his head like that, if you want to do that. So he's got a hand for that, and he has the two tri-beam hands, so you could put those together, and they make, they, they make the tri-beam. The tri-beam is kind of like a signature attack, it's pretty cool. All right. Here is kind of the problem, Chao Tzu. So I'm very happy that we got Chao Tzu and it was a good call to put Chao Tzu with Tian, kind of make it like a two pack. Now, problem with this figure, he, he's static. He, he doesn't move, he, he, he doesn't move. The head rotates and moves forward and back. But other than that, He's stuck like this, so you can't do anything with him other than that. Really disappoints me. Oh, and you get a clip to that you can attach to Nappa's back, and it holds him. If you remember in the Saiyan, the, the Saiyan arc, you know, you attach that to Nappa's back, and then he blows up. And that's about all you can do with this. So it's basically what could have been another figure that could have standed, that could have stood on his own, is is just been watered down to being a glorified accessory for Nappa. That's it. So uh I'm 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 really disappointed by that. I thought they could have done I thought they should have done better with Chao Su. I mean, why couldn't they just make him articulated? If they if they could have just made him articulated, it would have been so much better because I'm pretty sure, I haven't opened my Yamcha yet, but I'm pretty sure the Cyberman that comes with Yamcha is articulated. So, uh, all in all, disappointing. And I don't even think, I don't even think you can clip it to Tien. I don't know, you, you, you can't clip it to Tien. It, he's basically just a bomb for Nappa. That's it. So, uh, Disappointed right there to say the least. I, I, I will say that But that's what it is. I mean I'm, I'm not gonna let that ruin my enjoyment of the overall figure. I still really like Tien I still really think it's a good figure and I am gonna go ahead and recommend that you guys pick him up because I think he's still really cool and it's great to have Tien uh, it's just Chao Tzu we need another Chao Su now. So. But anyway, that is going to be it for this video, guys. So thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. I really hope you did. And I will catch you next time with another figure review. And bye. Hey, guys. Matta222 here. I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching. And thank you for all your support, guys. This channel grows bigger every day. And it's all because of you guys. I really appreciate it. I just want to say, if you like this channel, if you like what you see, make sure you let, show me some love, guys, and hit that subscribe button, because I'm bringing you new videos pretty much every day, and that's the best way to make sure you don't miss anything. Also, like like the videos, share them with your friends, leave me a comment, make sure you tell me uh, what you like about the video, tell me what you like about the figure, just let me know all that stuff, guys, and check out all my social media links, I put them in the description of every video, so if you want to follow me on social media, you can definitely do that. And guys, head over to Facebook and check out the Sanctuary Facebook page. 
make sure you come say hey to us there and make sure you join us every Friday night for the Spaghetti and Friends podcast. And guys, check out all those other channels that are affiliated with that page. And that's going to be it, guys. I hope you like the video. Thank you again. Stay beautiful.